of the four Kumaras of the beautiful story to Narada Rishi. And the same Kata Sutta, Sutta Goswami told so that if you hear the Bhagavad Kata, you will be delivered from all the sins. Even if you are a great sinful person, if you just listen Bhagavad Kata, you will be delivered from the sin and you directly will go to the abode of Lord. In this context, it's described that once the rishis headed by Sonakarishi, they prayed to Sutta Goswami and they asked him to tell some glories of the Bhagavatam. The Bhagavatam is the emperor of all the Puranas. Amongst all the Puranas, the best of all the Puranas is the Srimad Bhagavatam. Why? Because if you hear Bhagavatam immediately, immediately, Shurushubi means if you have the desire to hear, just the desire. Now you still haven't heard the Kata. You're still in your house. But you just know that in some place the Bhagavad Kata is going on. You just know it's going on. Then you think, oh, today I want to also go and go to that Harikata I want to hear. So you just desire to go to the Harikata immediately. So I am Bhagavan Sri Hari. He'll come to your heart and he'll sit in your heart. So imagine when you start to hear, then hearing and hearing, so I am Bhagavan will manifest Prem in your heart. So in the ancient times, in this context, Padma Puran describes in the ancient time, in the south, in, in south of India, near the banks of the Gabadra, there was a beautiful town. In this town, there was a rich, very rich Brahmin that was living there. He had really a lot of money. His name was Atmadeva Brahman. What was his name? Atma Deva Brahmana. He was a Brahmana. He was a high class Brahmana. He was also rich. He also had a very nice wife. Her name was also very nice. Her name was Dunduli. What is her name? So, does anyone have the name, wife name also Dunduli? This is so sweet name, huh? Maybe you want to give your wife name also this name, but only if your wife accepts, huh? Anyway, it's a joke. So anyway, Dunduli means she was always creating like confusion. Like, like uh, externally she was speaking very nice things, but in, actually inside her heart she was full of like duplicity and like when her husband was coming to the house, in front of her husband she would like behave so well. But when husband would go out of the house, then, ah, she would like start quarreling with the neighbors. So she liked to quarrel. She liked to quarrel. She would feel bliss in quarreling. She liked to create quarrel. She was happy to create quarrel. Some people have this kind of nature, you know. Some people they do have. They like to fight and quarrel all the time. So... That's why her name was, which name? Dunduli. But look, Atma Deva Brahmana, he was a little bit, how to say, miser, miser. I want to tell you something. 
Mas os people, they don't do anything for them and also they for others also they don't do. They don't feed. They don't eat nicely and then they feed others. Like he, he has money but he's not even wearing nice clothes, not also giving to others nice things. So this uh, symbolizes someone who is miser. You know. He's not feeding anyone. The person has a lot of money but is not spending for himself not for others also then people would call him dan chan this person dan chan he was not given even one cent of donation to anyone so people would call him dan chan dan chan was like a, like a irony it was like uh, irony you say like sarcasm like dan chan means someone who's giving donation but he was not giving donation to anyone that's why they put this name in him So he went to the temple and he would like catch, uh, like holding the coin in his uh, fist so s tightly, you know. Then he was sitting in the back. Then he was thinking, I'll show to anyone, everyone that today I gave some donation. Today I'll show to everyone. But then his coin was full of sweat because he was holding the, that coin so tightly, you know. But he was thinking, oh, today I'll show to everyone that I gave some donation. <laughs> Then he told his coin, why are you crying? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, Mother Lakshmi, I don't, I'll not let you go. That's why you're crying, no? But don't worry, I won't let you go. <laughs> some people have this nature. <laughs> What to speak of giving donation? <laughs> They're like this, some people. So that's why people used to call him, which, which name? Dan Chan. So one day, it was time for bathing in the Ganga. So you go to many places, pilgrimage places many times, but at least once you go to Ganga Sagar, to the meeting of the Ganges in the ocean. Then you bathe there and all your sins will be destroyed. So her... His wife told, go to Ganga Sagar. But he said, no, no, I'll not go there. Because if I go, all the Brahmins will try to take my money and asking for money. Is this true or not? So, they'll, they'll bring some... So, they'll bring some coconut from the market. Actually, a coconut that has already been used for, by someone else. So, he'll bring a coconut. This is Banamana. And start uh, like speaking the mantra with uh, also and saying, Oh, give me some donation. Like the mantra, the ma Brahmins by force, they want to take Dakshin from you. Okay, give me 11,000 rupees. Okay, you cannot give at least 11 rupees. Somehow they like exploit you and take your money. So that's why he said, I'll not go there. But his wife said, No, let's go. You, I mean, sorry, you have to go. At least once in your life, you have to bathe in the Ganges and... Then he said, he said, okay. So Ganges was 25 kilometers far from his house. So early in the morning he was going. He was only using a bunya. Bunya means like a um, t-shirt, very thin t-shirt. And he didn't even like... Uh, not probably washed not even not properly uh he didn't even use so much soap in his cloth because for not spending the money so he went to bathe in the ganges in a place where there was no one there then he saw a place where they were burning the dead bodies and where there were many dogs also a place that was really like a like a place for burning bodies because they thought oh yeah I'll take bath here because if I go other places Brahmanas will come asking for money so he ba based one time two times three times he went inside the water he came out Brahmana was there and saying oh but yeah, this is my place this is my heart Give me donation. 
the Brahmana wanted. Then he said, Brahmana, where have you come from? I'm a Brahmana, where will I go to? This is my place. Brahmana said, this is my place. No one comes here. Okay, how much I have to give you? Ah, only 11,000 rupees. What? 11,000? You were asking for 11,000? No. Okay, at least 1,100 rupees. No, no, no. Okay, 11 rupees you give. I don't want to give anything. Okay, so at least take. At least, okay, take some loan. If you don't want to give donations, so you take some loan from me. Now people have like credit card, you know? Credit card. You don't have money? Okay. Credit card then. Okay, how much? One cent. Okay. Okay, one cent. He was thinking, okay, nobody will walk 25 kilometers for one cent. For one cent, nobody will walk so much. So he said, okay. Okay, I'll take one cent from you. So Dan Chan based and he was coming walking back. He went to his house, his wife had cooked chapati and sabji. You know eggplant? So they like burned one eggplant, like a like a baked one egg not like a how to say like you know when we put the eggplant in the fire and then so when burnt egg bands, like even his food was so simple and because he didn't want to spend money with food. And also one chapati, then his wife knocks the door. No, somebody knocked the door. Is this the house of Dan Chan? Yes. Where is Dan Chan? Oh, he's taking prashad. Who is? Who are you? I am a Brahmana. He uh, uh, took one cent from me. Wife came and said, look. Did you take money from someone? Me? Money from someone? Oh. The time I was taking back from the Brahmana, I told, I took, uh, I gave, I took loan one cent from a Brahmana. He came? Yes. Okay, go there and take, say that the health of Dhanashan is not good. He's sick. He should come back after two, three days. So wife also followed husband instruction and said, okay, look, my husband is sick. You come after two, three days. Because we will come back for only one cent, right? But the Brahman is also nothing less. Brahmana said, look, Danchan, he is my like sponsor. I did for him everything, so. So we have like a relationship of guru and disciple. If someone, like if you hear your uh, son is sick, you'll not go away of the house, right? You want to take care of your son. So just arrange, arrange food for me, Palahar. Two bananas, one guava, that's enough for me. Then wife told husband, look, the Brahmana came, he doesn't want to leave, and he said to arrange food, fruits for him. Then Jan th thought, what to do now? Oh my. So told his wife, look, 
tell him that Dunchan has died. Dunchan has died. If someone has died, then no? how was? But wife followed also and said, "Look, my husband died." Brahma thought, "My son died." So all the like uh, funeral rites, I will do it myself. So the Brahmana very quickly, he went to all the village and he told everyone, Dunchan has died. The villagers, they came quickly. What happened? What happened? And that Chan was really pretending he was, he was dead. He was like holding his breath and everything. Okay, let's bring him to the crematory and let's, cremat let's burn his body. Wife said, no, he's alive, he's alive, don't burn him, he's alive. Oh, you don't want to be a widow. You think he's alive, he's dead, he's dead, accept it. So, they put his body in the, in the, in the, like in the um, firewood, in the wood, and still he was holding his breath. Brahma said, Dan Chan, for one cent you are pretending to be dead. You are ready to die. I cannot believe it. Then uh, the Brahmana is saying, Oh, villagers, go away from here. He is my, he is my, like, like sponsor, like, because he's my, like my client. So get out of here. And then Chan, holding his breath, pretending to be dead. They were about to put the fire in his mouth to burn his body. Still, he was pretending to be dead. Brahmana said, I'm directly Bhagavan. I'm not an ordinary Brahmana. Look at my form. Even Brahma and great demigods, they are eager to see my form. Look at my form of four arms, Narayana. Have my darshan. Danchan was thinking. Oh, this is true. If it, he's really Bhagavan, it's good to have the darshan of Bhagavan at least once. So Danchan opened his eyes. When he opened his eyes, immediately he saw that Brahman again. Then he again shut his eyes. Bhagavan said, look. Danchan, I'm not an ordinary Brahman, I'm directly Bhagavan. Have my darshan. Two, four times he said like this. But Danchan was thinking in his mind. He was. Then Danchan, still he was like holding his breath. Bhagavan said, Danchan, for one cent you are ready to die. Cannot believe it. I have reached the, defeated great demons, but I lost. I was defeated by you, Lord told. Bhagavan said, look, you have bathed in the Ganges. This will never go in vain. Have my darshan. So to bathe in the Ganges, this will never go in vain. If once you bathe in the Ganges, you hear Harikatha. This will never go in vain. So in this context, we were telling. So there was this Brahmana. He was rich, but he was so miser. He was not giving donation. And he had no sons and daughters also. Then he spent his youth like this. So he saw he had no sons and daughters. He had a lot of money, yes, but what to do? 
So one day, he was crying and crying, and he came to one place. So by the desire of Bhagavan, he saw that a saint came. A saint, the saint saw that that Brahman was so upset, and he asked, "What happened?" So seeing the saint, the Atma Dev Brahman, crying and crying, he said, "Look." Hey, Sanyasi Sadhu, I have a lot of money, yes, but I have no sons and daughters. That's why I'm so upset. Then the Sanyasi Thakur, the saint told, Look, in this world, to get sons and daughters, actually everything happens because of the karma from previous life. Shasta explains. If you do austerities, you'll be able to get a kingdom. If you have a good um, faith, you'll get a nice son. Like a good son. You must have a lot of pious deeds to have a nice son. And I don't see any uh, symptom of this in you. What to do? Saint told, for one life, Sorry, not for one life, for seven lives you won't be able to get any sons and daughters. Atmadeva heard this and he was crying so much. What? Seven lives? I cannot believe it. You told it for seven lives. For seven lives I won't be able to have any sons and daughters. Oh no. So he was crying and crying. He held the feet of the saint and said, Hey Maharaj. Please, somehow, give me a son. Somehow. So, hearing this situation of Atma Deva Brahmana, so he was so upset. Then the saint told, Look, okay, I'll give you a fruit. So, you give this fruit to your wife. She should eat it. Okay. Then, if she does this, at uh, proper time she'll be pregnant and she'll give birth to a beautiful, nice boy. So the Brahmana Atmadev, he took that fruit, came to his house and gave it to his wife. His wife's name was Dunduli. He gave to Dunduli and said, look, eat this fruit. If you eat it, you'll be pregnant and you'll give birth to a very nice boy. Dunduli thought, look, how many people eat fruits? You cannot be pregnant just by eating a fruit. Come on. I don't want to follow any saint. I don't know who is the saint. People nowadays they don't believe the saints anymore. Who is saint? Who is not saint? People don't believe. Because maybe you like be like hypnotized or for some saint. People say nowadays, why did you fall into this like clutches of that Babaji you f don't fall in the cat clutches of that Babaji people say like this they are all fake they are imposters in the same way Dunduli also said my husband is uh, under the clutches of some saint he's think thinking it's true that I'll eat a fruit and I'll be pregnant come on this doesn't exist this is a lie this is not true, impossible. My husband has fallen to the clutches of the saint. Oh my. Anyway, she took the fruit, but then she thought what to do. Not all saints are same, right? So. So this is true or not? All saints, they look like same, like wearing saffron cloth. But who is really good? Who knows how to know who is a really good saint? So yeah, she was afraid. Dunduli was afraid. If I eat this fruit, what will happen to me? Okay, I'll be pregnant, but maybe a, a thief will come. I'll not be able to run away from him. My belly will be direct, gigantic. I'll not be able to sleep. 
I'll not be able to eat properly because of this pregnancy. Maybe a thief will like rob me and then I'll be able, won't be able to escape. It's like Dunduli was thinking so many things. What to do? Then in this moment, some some like um, far relationship sister came and told, "Why you're so worried? Worried?" Dunduli told her everything. Oh, my husband came to the, in the clutches of some saint and that gave him a, a fruit and said if I eat this fruit I'll be pregnant, what to do? Her friend told, oh this is so easy solution, listen, I'm now I am pregnant. So you do one thing, give some money to my husband. As soon as my son is born, I will give you this, saint, this son. And you pretend you're pregnant. You put some clothes under your belly just to pretend you're pregnant. Nunduli thought, oh, this is true. So the, the fruit that her husband had given, that the sadhu gave, she gave to the cow. She gave to a cow. And something amazing happened. The cow became pregnant. So her sister, that far related sister, also she gave birth and then during the night the baby came to the house of Nduli. Early in the morning everybody was saying, Oh the Brahmanatma Deva. He had a baby in his house. A boy was born. And also, by the desire of Bhagavan, also the cow of Atmadeva Brahmana also gave birth to a human baby. Human baby. Cow gave birth to a human baby. Just the ears was, was like a cow. That's why the name was Gokarna. And the name of the son, the name of the son of Atmadeva Brahman was Dundukari. Because of his mother that was Dunduli. So everybody was speaking about this. Oh, when Bhagavan wants to give us something, God gives a lot. Like something which is like falling on your head. Like so much. God gives so much. Like when God wants to give, He gives in abundance. Because at the same time, He had a son and also His cow also had a baby. So nice. Everybody was happy saying this. So the Atma Dev Brahman, he started raising the two kids. So the two kids, they grow, grew up. Nundukari and Gokarna. But their nature was completely different, the nature of the two boys. Nundukari, he was really evil. He was evil. When he was even small, he was like robbing boy, the boys and even stabbing them, stabbing with knife. So he was really evil, evil, playing with other kids, then stabbing the kids with knife when they're playing, throwing some kids in the well, like really evil. But. Gokarna, he had the nature of a Brahmana and always doing welfare to others. Reading scriptures, only like meditating and helping others, you know. Humble, so humble. He had all the qualities. Gokarna had all the good qualities. After some time, Dundukari told his father, Father, give me some money. Then Dundukari started drink alcohol and also smoke ganja and many other things. Every day also, he was coming 10, 11 o'clock, he was coming and creating a chaos in his house. Beating his own parents. 
the Brahman Atma Deva thought. Brahman Atma Deva started thinking, if I had no son, it would be better because what is this son? So he was so upset. What to do? I have a son like this. So one day, the Brahmana Atma Dev, he told his son Gokarna, Hey Gokarna, tell me what to do now. Then Gokarna gives amazing instructions to his father. He said, Oh my father, Oh my father, this world is full of miseries. Who is happy? Raise your where is one hand. Only the crazy person will say he's happy because he's crazy. There is anyone happy in this world? No one is happy. The poor person says, the rich person is happy. The rich person says, who is richer than me is happy. The richest person th says, the king is happy. King says, the emperor is king. Em is happy. Em Indra is happy. Indra says, Brahma is happy. Brahma says, I'm not happy. A person who chants holy names, he is happy. This is really true. Whether you believe it or not. Those who do Hari Bhajan to chant holy names, they are happy. If you do Bhajan of Bhagavan without the Pristi, then you are happy. What to do? This is true. There's no one happy in this world. So, Father, listen to me. Everyone is unhappy in this world. You think someone is your friend. Today he's your friend. Tomorrow. Tomorrow that same person becomes your enemy. You have seen this in your life, probably. You think the person is your like very dear friend, but then after some time, what happens to your relation? Maybe that person will stab you, or maybe like will betray you, betray you, you know? The person in his mouth is speaking sweet words, but actually so much poison in his heart. So much poison. Very sweet words in the mouth, yes, but actually poison in the heart. In the heart, like, like stabbing you in your back, like this expression, like stabbing your back, like this. So you think he's your friend, but he's not your friend. So you can try a thousand times tell this, but is there anyone who really wants to understand this? Oh, no, no, sorry. Gokarna was trying to make his father understand, but... but So, in this world, some people, they don't want to change their mind. Even if you tell, tell, they don't. Externally, they speak also sweet words. They speak very sweet words externally. But actually, they want to exploit, exploit and take all your money. Do you understand? They will make uh, empty your bank, bank balance, like they will take all your bank balance. In this world, people are like this. Oh, my father, give up this world, this family. Go to Vrindavan, do bhajan. This is the essence. The essence of life. Bhagavad bhajan. If you don't do Bhagavad Bhajan, then you have to suffer. Whether you believe it or not. One day or another, you have to consider this. So in this way, Gokarna, he was giving beautiful instructions to his father. Oh my father, please do Bhagavad Bhajan. In this way, in these beautiful words of his son. 
the Atma Deva Brahmana, he left his house, yes, and he left to do Bhagavad Bhajan. Rumukari said and thought, oh, my father is not in the house. So he was asking his mother, where is the wealth of my father? Every day, he was coming like 11, midnight, 1 a.m., and coming drunk and beating his mother, give the money, give the money to me. One day, his mother, Dunduli, she killed herself, throwing her body, like throwing herself into the... Uh, well, she killed herself. So Gokarna saw also, he considered also better for him to leave. So he left his house also and went for Tirtha Yatra to go in many pilgrimage places. And Dundukari saw there's no one in the house. So his nature was to steal always. He was always drinking. This was his nature, his habit. Like everything bad he was doing. Even he started to keep five whores in his house. Five prostitutes. Stealing. So he would bring the money and give to the whores, prostitutes. One day in the evening time, he came drunk. He stole the money of the king and he came to the house. He gave to those five prostitutes. Five prostitutes said, oh my God, is the money of the king belongs to the king, oh my. People of the king will come early in the morning. They will kill us or like uh, arrest us. Surely they arrest us, what to do? So these five prostitutes. It was a lot of money, like diamonds and so many things from the king. So you know what they did? Dukari was like drunk. And like, uh, like drunk. <coughs> so they bound his legs and feet. And they beat him a lot. And then they put him in like, they took one piece of wood, burning piece of wood, put it in his mouth and beating him. In this way, Dundukari died. So what to do? There was a well in the garden. So they threw him there. And they put a, also they put one stone for covering the well. And these prostitutes, they took all that wealth, diamond and jewels, everything that Nundukari had stolen from the king. They escaped and took all that. So because he had this tragic death, he get which kind of he got the Pret Johnny ghost body. He had to become a ghost. You don't believe, huh? But Shastra explains. Shastra explains. If you take the wealth that belongs to Guru, if you steal the wealth that belongs to Guru. After death, you will get the body of a ghost. In the Agni Puran and other books, all this is described. Like what happens to you after death depending on what you did during your life. Agni Puran explains. Look, Sundukari was born as a ghost. So he was haunting all people of the, all the villagers. Some person was sleeping, then he would manifest in the body of a gigantic fire and like haunting the person. Ha, 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 ha. He was doing this. Sundukari. It's true. So in the middle of the night he was doing this. Sometimes he would manifest the body of cow, of of a dog, of a um, cat, just to make people scared. They can do that.
So the Ducati haunted all the people of the village and everybody left. Actually, until nowadays, there's some places like this, I think, very dangerous places. What to speak of nighttime? Even people don't go in this place during the day also because of the ghosts in some places, full of ghosts. People don't believe, huh? But Shasta explains, it's true. Nundukari became ghost. He became a ghost. So Nundukari was going everywhere. One day he's, he came in his village. Gokarna came back and he saw there was no one in his village. No one was there. So Gokarna, he just... Uh, he slept on the bed because there was no one there but then 1 a.m somebody was just like moving his moving his uh bed then he's like what is this who is there who is there then he heard like the cry of someone crying or some sound and also some like somebody ha 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 like this Wokarna thought what is going on Vokarna said, who are you? Come in front of me. Come in front of me. Man was his brother. Oh, my brother. I'm your brother. I'm Dundukari. I got, a, I, I had a tragic death. And because I had a tragic death, I now I'm born as a ghost. Please deliver me from this ghost body, please. So, Gokarna called all the Tirtas, the pure holy places guy and all the holy places he did pinda down for him in all the holy places just explains after that if you do pinda down for someone who has departed departed this person will be delivered That's why people now they're doing this Pitra Paksha. It's for the, this reason. They are doing these oblations for the forefathers and they're feeding the Brahmanas. So Nundukari said, Nukarna called all the he went to all the Tirtas for his brother and did Pindadan. Narmada, all the pure places. He went to all the places. And offered Pindadan to his brother, but nothing worked. Because if someone is really so much sinful, then nothing works. Like this Pindadan, ordinary doesn't work. Then, Gokarna himself thought, how will I deliver my brother? Then he remembered Surya Deva, the Sun God. Son, God came and told, Hey Gokarna, your brother is so sinful. He's Ati Papi, he's like great sinner. So if an ordinary pinda done, it's not enough for him. To deliver him, you know what you need? I'll tell you. You must do, you have to speak Bhagavad Kata to him. This is true. By hearing Bhagavad Kata, then Gokarna himself, he called all the villagers. Then for seven days, he was giving Bhagavad Katha. So many were listening Harikatha, but there was, there's one main person that was like that was meant for him on his behalf. So they took one bamboo with seven sticks. And he put his brother sitting there. 
like in, into the inside that bamboo. So every day the Harikata was going on. And then the the bamboo knots, they were also bursting like pak, pak, pak. And then after seven days, a biman, a chariot came. And his brother manifested, he left the body of a ghost and manifested a beautiful body. Very beautiful ornamented body sat on the chariot. He did parikrama of his brother. He sat in the transcendental chariot. He went to Vaikuntha. What is the fruit of hearing Bhagavad Kata? You are sitting here. If you sit here for seven days listening to Harikata, it's 100% guaranteed that all your sins will be destroyed. And after death, certainly, you'll be able to attain to Bhagavan. There's no doubt, no doubt. But you have to do it with faith. Ah, today you hear Harikata, tomorrow not. No. You must hear it. The Shasa also explains how to listen to Harikata, how to listen to Harikata. There's a rule also. <laughs> Sit in Harikata and concentrate your mind. Completely concentrate your mind in the Kata. The eyes are just like listening from one ear and everything is coming out in your other ear, by your other ear. No, you must listen. Time's up, no? Okay, let's do Kirtan, then Arati, then after Arati Prasad, then again tomorrow you come. So I told you, you get 100 billion times more fruit if you hear Bhagavad Kata for seven days. You can, because people do, they do oblations for the forefathers, right? Like offering food to Brahmanas and this for the forefathers. You can call your forefathers to him here. They can hear Harikata and they'll get benefit. Do it with faith. Like you can offer this Bhagavad Gata for your forefathers and they'll get 100 billion times more benefit. So everybody saw how Vokara manifests a beautiful form. He sat in one chariot and went to Vaikuntha. And they all said, oh, we heard, all we heard, Harikata, why a chariot came only for your brother? The listeners, the other listeners complained. The Bhagavad Kata is for everyone. Only your brother delivered, but we, no, didn't. Because Shastra explains, the fruit doesn't come only by hearing. You have to also. Think about what you heard in the kata. When you hear at the same time, you must think about what you heard. Sometimes the Pandiji tells a story. Ah, yesterday what I told... Oh, the, the teacher asked, Oh, what, what do you remember from what I told yesterday? Then the disciple, student says, Oh, Gurudev, every day you say you have to give donation to Guru. So I didn't have any other donation. So Gurudev, when I left today, I gave back to you everything you gave to me, like all the teachings, all the Harikata. Whatever you, I heard from you, I just gave back to you. It means I did not kept anything. I didn't keep any knowledge, nothing. So the fruit doesn't only come by hearing. You must remember and think about. You have to remember. So then all listeners, 
they said, oh, tell us again Bhagavad Kata, and then Gokarna again told Bhagavad Kata to them. So all these times they were one pointed and with so much attention. They were hearing Bhagavad Kata. And in the end, they attained the abode of God. So all please hear Harikata. Then, like we really start the Bhagavatam now because this was the glories of the Bhagavatam. So Bhagavatam is such a beautiful book. By three verses, Shukadeva Goswami has described the unprecedented glories of the Bhagavatam. First verse, Jamadasa Jataha. Second slok, Dharma Prajito Kaitabo. Third verse, describes the form of Bhagavatam. The third sloka. By these three verses, so the special form of the Visheswarup, special qualities and form of the Bhagavatam. Bhagavatam is not an ordinary book. Bhagavan appeared to give mercy to the Jivas. Bhagavatam is called the sound incarnation of God. Bhagavatam is also called Aparusheya Granta. It means something which is not written by any person. Something that directly Bhagavan manifested. It's not an ordinary thing. So there are three sittings of the Bhagavatam, three Adivashanas. In different Kalpas, Bhagavan, to the benefit of the Jivas, he manifested. So there are different speakers and listeners also of the Bhagavatam. Tomorrow we'll discuss all this. Today we will uh, pause our Harikata here. So I pray to you, I ask to you, request. Tomorrow all of you please come, 4 p.m. Come 4 p.m. 4.30 we'll start the Harikata. From 4.30 you start the Bhagavad Arati. In the middle also do some kirtan. Sometimes also there will be also some drama and presentation. The devotees will present many leelas heroes. Who can sit directly for four hours non-stop? We are not Shukadeva Goswami nor Parikit Maharaj. They actually stayed seven days, seven nights listening to Harikata. How many days? Seven days and seven nights. We cannot even stay seven minutes sitting. And the Bhagavad Kata was for, uh, lasted for seven days and seven nights, non-stop. Non-stop. But now we are in Kali Yuga. You cannot sit down so, for so long. Sitting down for four hours, oh, Maharaj, four hours sitting down, oh no, oh my god. Isn't it? You in the time of Kirtan, you can even go out, but I have to continue sitting, so no problem. Sometimes in the middle also, we give also some distraction, some kirtan, some... Sometimes our devotees also will arrange some dramas and presentation, dance presentation. She came from Braja. She came from Mathura. Or he, I don't know. Ah, he. He came to sing Braj kirtans. This deity here is not ordinary. This deity here is... Radha Raman Bihari Juki Jai. This is the date of Braj.
Actually, if there's no Gita Govinda, Jagannath cannot even go to sleep. He only sleeps with the Gita Govinda. Then Jagannath slowly, slowly falls, falls, falls asleep. Falls asleep. With Gita Govinda. Here also we need Vraj Kata. The deity needs Vraj Kata. Vraj Kirtaniya. He'll also do some Kirtan. And then there will be Arati. After Arati, you please take Prasadam. Take Prasadam. Jai.